Hello, welcome back to Far Cry Primal. I know, I know it's been so long since I actually played this game, but I kind of decided to revisit it again because, yes, you guessed it, 3070Ti. Now, here's the thing. We played this game in, with 1080Ti, 4K, Ultra, and in all honesty, between me and you guys, I wasn't always getting 60 frames, okay? <laughs> No settings were tweaked, but obviously when you watch the gameplay, you might have noticed there was some little artifacts, some little sluggishness and things like that. So I decided to, you know, revisit this title after I got this card because I've been doing it for a couple games. And to do this now, we're gonna do two things. First off, we're gonna run a benchmark and then we're gonna play the game. How does that sound? So, to do that... All we really need to do is just uh, double check the settings we are running. So 4K native, full screen, graphics on ultra, and for advanced settings, vertical sync is on normal because you can't really turn it off apparently, and field of view is a little bit higher up. So let's run a benchmark, see what frames uh, we are getting while recording in native 4K, and then we're going to go for the game itself. So, I don't know, three minutes of benchmark, less? Let's roll, see what happens. I honestly cannot believe the results I'm seeing here, so... <laughs> Literally, the minimum frames we're getting is 67, the average is 70-ish, and the maximum is 84. I mean, this is... This is wild. Uh, video memory usage is 44%, so we're basically using a little bit below 4 gigs of video memory. So, just... Damn. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, this is this is just... This is gonna be the thing. We're gonna skip all this. Uh, we've seen all this intro before, so nothing really will change. So what do we have here? Bright sun, bow and arrow, and being a caveman. Well, in all honesty, I haven't touched this game for a while because I was uh, kind of busy with uh, all the other games. So, you know, it's one of those things again. So what we're gonna do is see where we are actually going. So I think since we cleaned up most of the map here, we have this guy. Recover scraps from old Venger totem for the Udam. Okay. Or we can do Sailor the Gatherer. Search the Bone Cave for missing Venger Hunter. Right, so. Currently, as far as I'm concerned, we have like three active story-driven missions. So we have the cave, we have this chick here which wants us to hunt the tall elk, and we have to get the scraps of the old Venger totem. So we're closest to this one, so this is where we're actually gonna go. And I think we're gonna go from there. Professional scaling down the cliff, caveman style. Almost. I mean, if I did this in real life, I would have no legs. It just shows how the cavemen were just built differently. And also, before we actually continue, what is in my gear? So I have arrows, the spear, the bee bomb, the bee grenade. I think we're good. We should be good. 230 feet. Oh, hold up. 
I think we need some target practice here. Just to get uh, a little bit of target practice before we face actual enemies. Otherwise, you know, it, it's been a while. Where did that guy go? Come on. Here's one. Where's the second one? Okay, never mind. Went pretty nice. Ah, the game feels so fluid. I, I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe how this game feels so fluid. I wouldn't say it was bad with an ATTI, but uh, when you record in 4K in ultra quality, like when it comes to NVIDIA GeForce Experience, uh, you can select the bitrate it records. I was going for the top end, I was going for 150. So it was clearly taxing out uh, the NVMe and SSD drives, because, you know, NVMe needs to run the game and SSD needs to write it all in. Even though the SSD write and uh, read is roughly 500 megs, it wasn't exactly as that, so, you know, it's just one of those things. So we are doing the predator sense and trying to figure out where did they go. So we're gonna loot anything we can because this game is very looting hard. I'm just gonna go from there. And we're going into the cold region. I should have upgraded my kit for the cold, but uh, you know, I hate the grinding games and Far Cry is the perfect example. are commonly known as beasts. Ow. Killed at least one more beast, which is a cave lion. Good enough. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh. E. Mash your D. That will. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm surprised my bow is not catching on fire. I just like this mechanic where the arrow just kind of goes out. This creature is very good against sweep and clear tactics, I must say. This is what it means to be an apex predator, I guess. Oh, 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 it's over there. the bend do not let it escape come back my prey shall not escape me there we go this is why looting is very important here This is why it's so important. Oh, 
to search for them. I can hear them, probably you guys can hear them as well, but it's kind of hard to tell where the sound is coming from. They should be somewhere up high. If you're dealing with... If you're dealing with enemies, you should be... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Come on up, buddy. Ow. Are we smashing D? No, we're smashing A today. We're smashing A. And we're healing up. That's what we're doing today. Come on. We're gonna meet them head on. We're not afraid of some cats. Even though they're like twice our size. Hello there. Oh shit. Oh, it's a saber tooth. There you go. There you go. Club on fire. Hit it. Come back. Oh, I'm actually almost out of the heels. Okay, we need to. Stab it, stab this bad boy. Come on, come on. It's gonna come round. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Just try to pick up our spears first. See if we can uh, quickly grab them. Yes, we can. Some of the clubs. And we've done it. So I think we will have plenty of time to do all the other missions as well. Yes. Ten minutes for a mission, how about them? Um, apple Right, okay, let's go for crafting and take a look at the skills we have. So what can we craft? Spear belt. Current three, carry four. Yes, sir. And skills, we have one skill point. We could actually use it for something... Something actually useful. I think carrying, using weapons while moving bodies. Eh. You know, it might come in handy. We just uh, obtained another hole. Oh, hold up. Pull everything. Smarkaka. Smarka yourself. Okay, so we've done this one. Good. Eh, I don't want to drive a mammoth. I want to do this one. So let's just do a quick uh, fast travel and see how we go from there. Oh, look at this game. Good old times when games actually look good. I mean, Far Cry Primal is definitely not the pinnacle of graphics if you look at them. But overall, you know, end of the day, what would you expect? I like how the fishes in the lake do more damage than actual animals on the land. I mean, it's just... Oh, who's that? That looks like an enemy to me. Take 
Avengers event. Avenger event. There is a full blown Avengers event right here. We took part of that. Give me back my waypoint. Waypoint is actually all over the. Why? Why did they come here again? God damn it! We're back to the fishes again. Swimming with the fishes for reasons unknown. And there he goes. Okay, place your beds, gentlemen. Are we gonna make it to the shore without being eaten by the fish? Hmm. Not today, fish. Not today. Okay, so the totem. And we have some... Things to make more things. Okay, so we're gonna farm a little bit real quick, just these couple trees in our vicinity, because again, this game is very heavily reliant on you having resources for your stuff. So if you don't do that, you're gonna have a bad time. And we do not want to have a bad time, do we? We want to have a fun time. Also, prior to recording, I actually upgraded one of the houses in my village. Which gave me absolutely no buffs whatsoever, so it was kind of like a waste of resources. It was the house of the woman that we met at the very beginning of the series. Like the first human, actually, that we saved from the Sabertooth and we kind of healed her up. So yeah, that was uh, that was a bit interesting. Anyway, it's time to get tactical. The lost totem. We're gonna call up our drone. See what we're up against here. It's a totem looter. Not on my watch, buddy. Someone's got their sights trained on us. We are so tactical, it actually hurts. I wonder who that is and where he's at. Steady hand and brave heart. Whatever the saying was. Also, I think it will not hurt us. We're gonna put these guys on fire a little bit. Thank you for the arrows. Thank you for keeping them arrows for me so I can uh, retrieve my arrows. I mean, this is what the civilization has been all about. You see, you meet new people and they just do things for you. They they keep your arrows. They don't let them go into waste and stuff. You know, it's it's such a good thing, like, altogether. Also, these guys are getting very far away from me, which I'm not really exactly keen about, so... Oh wow, they are really getting away from us. They are getting a little bit too far for, for my liking here. Kill and serve the totem motors. Oh wow. Weed smoke. I don't know, I don't smoke weed. Is that how you see the world when you smoke weed? Like everything turns green and happy or... How does it how, how does it work? Like oh shit! Look at these bad boys. There's like a proper camp up there, and they get they've got my ow.
Slingshots really? Never bring a slingshot to a bow battle. In all honesty, I did put in some skill points. Oh, hello. For the bows. I really do not uh, like these big boys. Come on, come on, come on. Swap. Make my day, I dare you. I double dare you. Make my day. The B bomb is the best invention since sliced bread, but they. they oh shit, they don't even know the sliced bread yet. Okay, I think we need to be tactical. Let's go high ground. Do you think he's dead? Yeah, looks pretty dead to me. I mean, it is surprising how easy this game actually is once you actually learn the ropes. And I would never imagine I would be killing people with bow and arrow. Like, that is not my thing. And we've done it as well. Well damn. Ow! I'm sorry! Ow, ow, ow! Why are you attacking me? I have the skill to tame you! I was under impression that you don't need to... Like, deal with wolves if you have the skill. Apparently I was wrong. Hold up, I have a thing for this. Take the bait, buddy, please. I do not want to be your enemy. I want to be your friend. Come on. No animals seem to be interested in your bait. Well, how rude, right? If I was an animal, I would definitely gonna be interested in a bait. Okay, what's next for our little adventure? Little with a big owl. Right, I think we need to get to this chick over here and hunt the elk. Hmm. So the best course of action would be we could technically come here. Get the resources, uh, get ourselves ready and go from there I believe. Okay, let's see if we have everything crafted prior to looting the cache. The cache. Whatever we need to loot here. So, and then we're gonna take a quick uh, nappity nap. Then we're gonna go from there. Look, that was, that was someone spotting me again. I think we should just uh, rest till dawn and uh, go from there, what do you guys say? Okay. 
Okay, here we are. We have new daily resources. This is this is the meat and and bones of this whole game. You need the daily cash. I mean, if you don't use it, you are gonna have a bad time. We can make 12 arrows extra and then we can uh, go off from our supply, which is not exactly what I have in mind, but they hope. Also, that's quite a distance to lag. Like, what the hell? Hold up. Okay, so we are right here. We need to... That is quite a distance though, isn't it? Anyway. The sooner we start climbing, the, the better off it's gonna be. Oh, no, leave me alone. Haha, <laughs> you cannot climb. This is why people always survive. You see, we can climb. The four-legged creatures, unless it's a bear, probably cannot climb. Uh, cougars might climb. Lions... Oh, actually. I just realized that is not true at all. I mean, all of them can actually climb trees and stuff. But we have tools like this, and unless you're a mountain lion, you are not able to catch us. Which is good. Also, the hand and eye coordination for these guys are out of this world. I would be hanging there for like the next 10 years and I would miss every single toss. Then I would get tired and I would just fall down and that's it. I'm done. Okay, I would like to have at least one more stick in my possession. Who is eyeballing me? Oh, hold, hold your horses. Here we go. I should be able to tame this bad boy. Oh shit, I cannot. Oh. Damn it. Oh shit. Damn it. I knew it. Oh, I had the chance to actually do this. Yeah, you guys can deal with that bad boy. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna intervene or anything. I wanted to invest a skill point for bears and uh, like the large animals, but at the end of the day, I, I thought. I will never need to tame a bear, you know, they're, they're kind of nice and everything, but end of the day, it's not really my jam. I kind of like the dogs, like the wolf, or, or the, you know, the big cats, but uh, I thought that I unlocked that skill just for encounters like this, so the bear doesn't actually stop your jam, but hey-ho. Guess I was wrong a little bit. Do you have something here? we have here tactical incursion commencing is that that is the thing I think it is cover yourself woman do not let me astray from my path okay we need to continue going there uh, I can see who's visiting that woman right now. You saw that guy coming up? He's got a date. He was like all brushed up and everything, you know? Good luck to you, bud. So the one thing that I do remember from Far Cry Primal is uh, these unscalable cliffs that uh, forces you to go around and sometimes you just have a steep mountain going downwards. Which uh, is not exactly my way of playing things, but hey ho, here we are. Oh, please do tell me we can just swing across here. Please, pretty please. Yeah, we're back where we actually... We're almost back where we started. To a certain extent. From the top of the mountain you go to the bottom of the mountain, because why not? You know, the game needs the game. But we are 500 tapty taps away from the, our current objective and... We have some goats. Wild cows chasing us right now, which is... Annoying a little bit, but hey, you know... Damn it. 
Oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. Enemy of my enemy is still my goddamn enemy. Jesus, come on. Let's run away. There was black something, I really wanna get it. The cell stone, whatever that is. You never know when you need any of these things for the crafting later on in the game. Or if you need to upgrade your stuff. So it's always a good thing if you if you can if you can stock up. Always stock up, that's the whole point. Okay, we should be good. Help Venger defend quest abandoned. I'm not gonna help you, I mean I've survived all this time by myself. You should be able to do the same. What's with the freebies? There's no such thing as freebies in real life. Definitely these guys should know it like better than just waiting for someone to come and save their ass. Such a long distance. How how would you guys feel if the caveman actually decided, you know what? I can have like a full-fledged wing suit made out of a goat skin. Imagine there would be a mad lad like that and he go, "Oh, oh, 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 hello. Come back. Come back. Come back." You're a big cat. Yes, you are a big cat. Who's a big cat? Look at you, buddy. Look at you. Hello. Oh, look at this big furball. Oh, come on. Come here. So after Far Cry 3, when they actually introduced... Uh, very almost uh, realistic animal fur simulation. It was more pronounced in Far Cry 4. This is where all of this kind of took off when it came to the animal skins and fur. And honestly, I, it's a good thing. So despite for Ubisoft being Ubisoft. As I said, it's just... It's a good thing. Okay, so now we have to wait for nightfall. Just by the campfire. How do we rest by the campfire? I don't see a campfire here. Hold up. Campfire is over here. Now, quickly just loot everything we possibly can. You're gonna rest until nightfall. So the big hunt is on, guys. Guys, girls, and uh, Apache helicopters, choppers, buggies, go karts. We're on. Okay, I really hope I'm up for this. Let, let us check the skills we have. So I have one skill point, so it's kind of useless. I'm not gonna ever use food recipes. Uh, more. I need to in. I need to invest in think in finding things. That's what I need to do, really. Okay, buddy, it's me and you against the tall elk. Follow the path of fireflies. A path to the fireflies? We shall collect dust as well, or clay. Can we actually use our trusty drone? That's my question. Oh wow, that's a lot of fireflies, look at this. I think we need to go all the way up here, it looks like. All the firefly path lead... Oh, oh, oh. That's something.
Oh, the path of fireflies. All right. Okay. Okay, I have fully forgotten how to actually control my tiger, but at the same time, you don't need to control tiger. Tigers are fine. Wait for the tall elk. I think he's... Oh, here he is. Udon? Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Where are you at? Where did you run off to? That's one Udam down. Let's get Udam hunting. Heal, please. That was a little bit chaotic, to be honest, but hey, we did it, right? Hey, buddy. I need to heal you up. Here you go. You all good? Oh, who, look at this furbo. How can you not like these things? Also, he will keep all of those pesky guys away from me. And by pesky guys, I mean literally like, you know, wolves. Which are not pesky, but, you know, given the circumstances, those wolves are not the wolves I have, you know? It's the same with the dogs. Like, if you have your own dog, any other dog usually is kind of below your own dog level. Dog and cat owners will understand what I'm talking about here. Your cat or dog will always be the best pet for you, and other pets are kind of like, you know, a level below. Apart, and I'm not saying that, you know, this is a final word, apart from really, really extraordinary nice dogs and cats that you meet along your way. That's a different story. Then you go home and you go like, why can't you be so nice? Come here. Come here, buddy. So some people wonder why I do not have... Why I don't have uh, animal animals in Far Cry. I don't want to use them as... You know, as a tool. I really do not like it at all. I just want the animals to have their own thoughts and stuff, you know? Which probably is quite funny because it's a game, but you know, nevertheless, it's just, it is how it is. And I think we can craft something. What can we craft? We can upgrade the spear. Of course. Wow, look at this. It's the big bad spear here. Anyway, since we've done our mission, Oh, there are some things we can quickly do. We can go and do the Guashanari bonfire. Outpost. Bonfire. I don't want to do a bonfire. I want to do an outpost. What about that? How about the maples? 400 tippity taps. 
And then we conclude this session with bringing the stuff to whoever wanted the stuff. I think that's uh, fairly reasonable. Also, yeah, the way this game looks and runs and feels, damn. This is so nice. I mean, why couldn't they have this game performance back in the day when they released the game? There was no way in hell this game was running fine. I remember it playing back in the day on my very old AMD system, which I do believe consisted of an AMD 4100 or 43. I'm, I'm, I, I don't really remember. It wasn't the 63, you know, one of the AMD CPUs with multiple cores. The one I had was really, really, actually bad. Oh, we have a fiery boy. Oh, I'm, I'm not going into that. We're not standing between the wolves and the bear. So yeah, uh, when I was playing it with the AMD system, it wasn't running like this. And for those times, that was already way above the spec of the actual game requirements so i'm, I'm kind of curious like what what gives why now it runs so good and also again in 4k it's not like you know getting 120 frames so this game still I, I think it's an engine limitation like the game engine itself i'm not sure if they're still using the dunia engine for this one or another one because i think for far cry Five and four they were using the Dooney engine. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the challenge. I should have just looked it up, but hey ho. gonna try something completely different now which is the berserk bombs which should make our life a tiny bit easier Pick up the stragglers as well. I mean, once you actually progress your owl, you can use it as a an actual drone. It just like the cooldown is like 20 seconds tops, and you can just like go to town with that stuff. That is so insanely easy to take out any kind of fortified location. It's just it is crazy. Come on, I cannot shoot if I do not see because of this outpost shit. Are you kidding me? No! Leave me alone, game. Jesus! If I'm gonna die because the game is taking its sweet ass time... Captive have, has been killed. I do not care about the captives! That was never the deal here. go there we go Our 
Okay, buddy. Guarpati, numi ibal tamsha. He's doing okay. Okay, let's find where is that. Where's the big stash here? Kill and search the carrier. Hold up. Hold up. We can find and kill the carrier, can't we? That was easy, wasn't it? Oh, it ate the, the body and it uh, healed itself. Good boy. Good boy, look at you. All bloodthirsty and everything. Aww. My love for animals is unmatched. Anyway, we've done all what we wanted to do and while we came here... Oh god, it opened up a whole bunch of... Things to do here. I think we need to go, go back and talk with whoever we need to talk to see what are the next steps to progress in this game. And we will actually require some of the things. Now we can go and I guess talk to someone. Wait, can I upgrade my crib? Nope, badger skin, slate. I'm not picking up slates. Like, that is the waste of time. So big. I cannot even express it in one video. The slates, it's a scam. Cave bear skin. No, 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 no. Papa! Papa! Kusvatasta. <laughs> Ninja Damsha Brown. You know what, buddy? You do you. <laughs> I'm not gonna intervene in this. Okay, what do we have here? I still can't have any of that stuff. I need to talk to someone in here. Who is all the way back in the cave? Oh, it's this guy. Hello. Who? Udam Sanchita. Quar da. Udam. Palhu Winja Huguana. Ma, mash, damsham, udam guar barta. Damas krawa dandaf, winja barta sakwi. Naya, udam aywa dani bar. We do. Winja udam barash. Hai, mask dash. Okay, well. Overreacting much? I think we need to go and uh, see what's up with the other missions before we depart. How do you guys feel about that? 
Mama Fadi. Do I know one? Majish Harris. Ti nawash na scouti, Mama Fadi. Ti kan sham. Guar guar do have to guari. Haska wanta. Have to guar sancha. Majish guar. Ku. Ti su haska wanta. Majish guar urusim shanash. U. Arsh majisha yu madi. Balti hinacha. Tu haska wanta. Buha! Okay, so the great beast. Now, when it comes to the great beast, this is not an easy task, actually. I kind of feel uh, severely under level for this occasion, to be fair. I need a bit more skills for that. Technically, I could try to take at least one of them on, like the saber tooth, if I could uh, get a pet animal to help me. But overall, not a good idea. Let's see what the shaman tells us. Surke, Iraqi Guan. Kwaisa, Udagwa. Sushilhai. Izi. Winja one tar wai kars. Hai. Hai drama. Se alia. Hinacha. Sushilhai winja twal shash. Karwi wai bauga. Marti bishwa. The shy you slaud ragwasha. Ma alia praste ati. U sushil hain salgar takar. He nasta winja lausha. So you might think this is uh, a little bit over the top, however, so you saw he basically snapped his neck. So in African tribes, at least back in the day, and that is from the documentary, if a village or the tribe doctor saw that the warrior is injured beyond saving, he would uh, pretend that he's actually examining his wounds and he would slit his wrists. So he would just bleed out, uh, and due to the shock he would not even notice that, you know, he's bleeding out and that would be like the peaceful death. And uh, yeah, that's been around for a while. It's quite wild that Ubisoft back in the day actually had the vision or someone just uh, said, this is okay. But then again, this game was purposely made to be a single player campaign, so you can feel and immerse yourself in the old world so to say you know the, the caveman age so that, it, it's not like it's so easy there's there's no hr there's no doctors really there's no you know health insurance that will help you you get a tooth infection you're done for like that's it you break a leg you, you're being left behind and that was the reality back there so yeah back in the day it was a bit different in terms of how they approach different issues with uh, health and society in general Anyway, it's been a whole hour now, so you see the game runs fine. I do hope you find this gameplay informative or maybe enjoyable or funny or, you know, whatever. If you have any comments about this, please do let me know down in the comment section. And, I don't know, we'll see you back again with uh, the next part. 
So for now I must say, please do not forget to have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all next time. Over and out.